y'all welcome back in today's video I want to show you how to open up pine cones so that you can use them for decorating um, usually when you take pine cones fresh off the tree a lot of times especially now in November when the humidity is up and it might be a little bit rainy you know where you live uh, your pine cones may look like this you see how they're kind of sleek and they look like they're sort of closed um, that is because um, when the trees produce pine cones, that is how they make more trees. <laughs> you know, the pine cones open up to release the seed that is inside when conditions are optimal. When it's rainy and nasty, you know, not optimal conditions for the seeds to set, I guess you could say. The pine cones close up in order to protect them and keep them on the inside. So, you don't want your pine cones to look like this. You want them to be nice and open and full. And this video is going to show you how to make them look like this. Okay, so I just went outside and got a bunch of these pine cones off my tree. And as you can see, they're, they're pretty dirty. And there's also probably like little insects down inside here, which you don't want those crawling around on your wreaths or your decorations. So we need to get rid of those first and clean these up a little bit so they're not so filthy. So in this bowl right here, what I have is I put half a cup of white vinegar and then I filled it the rest of the way up with really, really warm water. So all you want to do is put a handful of your pine cones into the water and the vinegar is going to help bring out all the little critters and whatnot see it that might be a few too many let me just take some out just get it on in the, and they might float if they float you can take a plate and just set it down on top just like this try to get this in the camera's view here um, and all this plate is going to do is it just pushes the pine cones down to the water to hold them down so that they're all submerged and you're going to want to let your pine cones sit in this water vinegar mixture for about 30 minutes so go ahead and do that and come back and I'll show you what to do next okay my pine cones have been soaking in the water and vinegar mixture for about half an hour and I was just arguing with someone earlier today about how pine cones have seeds in them. And, you know, like I said earlier, they close up to protect the seeds from falling out when the environment is not optimal. And then when the weather is dry, they open up to release the seeds so that the wind can blow them around. Yeah, okay, these are the seeds. And like their little propellers here so that the wind can carry them around. These are the seeds that fall out of the pine cones, okay? Uh, these came out of some pine cones that I dried uh, just the other day. Now they're all over the place. But okay, I'm going to take my plate off here. And these are the pine cones that have been soaking. See how they've pretty much closed up completely. So let's move this bowl out of the way. And I have an old towel here that I use for a lot of my crafts. This poor thing has had glue and paint and everything else on it. Okay, so you want to kind of blot your pine cones here and just squeeze it. They look like little cigars, don't they? Or as my little boy said, he thought it was dog poop, but oh well. Just kind of blot them with a towel like that. And then you want to line a cookie sheet with aluminum foil. Please do not forget to line your sheet with aluminum foil because once you start baking your pine cones, the rosin and sap and probably more bugs and everything else is going to come out and it's going to make a mess. Also keep in mind that your pine cones here, because they're completely closed, once they start opening up, they're probably going to be twice as big as they are now. So you want to make sure that you're using a pan that is big enough to be able to hold all of them. Go ahead and just put them on your pan there. And while you're doing this, you want to go ahead and preheat your oven. Some people say to do 200 degrees and bake your pine cones for longer. I set mine to 300 degrees. I like a higher temperature because that pretty much guarantees that you're going to kill any remaining little critters that might be roaming around your pine cones. Okay, let's just draw this one here. All right. Now, 
I have them all. As much water as I can squeeze out has been squeezed out. Okay, so go ahead and place all your pine cones out on your pan and put these in the oven at, like I said, I like 300 degrees. You can do 350, just keep an eye on them. Because what you're wanting to do is the heat of the oven is going to dry them out and that is what is going to make them go, you know, get, get big and fluffy and, and pretty. So go ahead and stick them in the oven and I can't tell you an exact time that it may take because, you know, all ovens are different and you might have your set at a different temp than mine. It might take an hour, it might take two hours, it might take more. But what you want to do is put them in there uh, and like every uh, 15 to 20 minutes or so, just give the pan a good shake and you'll see all the sticky rosin and everything coming out. You might want to turn them over so that, you know, all the water and rosin doesn't pool up on one side. But just uh, stick them in the oven and once they get really, really big and full and you pick one up and it feels dry, that means it's done, okay? So I'm going to pause the video once again, stick these in the oven for a while, and I'll come back and show you what they look like once they're done. Okay, I'm back, and I've got my trusty Happy Harvest, my little fox oven mitt here. Fox is like my absolute favorite animal, so I've got fox stuff all over the place. But I'm going to take my pine cones out of the oven right now, and you can see how... Uh -oh. how they look now I'm sorry the lighting is bad in here today it's really rainy and stormy outside so um yeah this is what they, they look like when they're when they're opened it's so dark in here today even with my my lighting rig here it's uh it's dark but um someone on Facebook asked me what's so important about soaking the pine cones in the water um, for a while, you know, before you stick them in the oven. And aside from killing all the little bugs and critters, like I mentioned earlier, um, it also helps to dissolve any of the excess rosin and stuff that's stuck inside the pine cones. I did go out and grab some more off the tree, and I did not soak them in water. And as you can see, how this part is flat, and like all this sticky rosin is like down in there, and it, it won't allow it to open up all the way. But if you soak them in the hot water with some vinegar, for a little bit before you stick them in the oven you you get rid of all this stuff so that they open up you know, and they're all nice and puffy and, and round like that I said um once you take them out of the oven you like just tap them and all the little the little seeds will fall out because if you put these in a wreath or something you know you don't want seed pods falling all over your floor your table or whatever but there you have it um i'm also going to be putting up some videos showing you how to get a snowy effect on your pine cones make it look like they're covered in snow and also how to make scented pine cones so um keep an eye out for those so if you would if you enjoyed this video you can please click that little subscribe button over there kind of shows some support for my work and it helps you to stay in the loop of all the new videos that i release um, you can also check me out on Facebook and my website. I'm going to put the links to both of those in the description box down below. And I hope to see you guys next time for my next video. Bye!